What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, maybe 2023 edition? Okay, so, a little something. I may have screwed the pooch here because I was actually walking back to Azalea Town, and, you know, I like to push the speed button, the speed button to move around and all that stuff. And I may or may not have accidentally gone to the Alex Forest and all that stuff, triggering this. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? <laughs> Quit lying. You're not joking. Then let's see how good you are. So he might have caught me at a disadvantage because I was training some Pokemon and I was switch training. Yeah. So here we go. Taking on this guy right here. And here's Togepi. Look at that. And, oh yeah, Togepi is at level 10 right now, so... Let's go with the metronome, and yes, it did not affect us, so here comes the metronome attack. And here comes the triple kick, which does not affect this guy, so yes, uh, hypnosis did not affect us. Here comes the metronome, come on Togepi, comic punch! Holy crap, baskets on a crap sickle sick, okay, so, oh crap. Alright, so, uh, yeah. We kind of messed ourselves up a little bit right here with Ghastly being uh, Ghastly. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Now we can actually use Fluffolt. Uh, now that we now that the, uh, what was it called? Uh, the level. Oh, crap. Yeah, now that the level cap has uh, increased for us in uh, the gym battles. Now, let's see. Did I get myself an Awakening? Yes, I did. All right. All right, Fluffolt, come on, wake up. And yes, this guy's gonna be licking us to death, and it is a critical hit. Okay, so let's go with a thunder shock, and that will not work. Please help us paralyze this guy right here. And oh my God, nearly beats him right there. And hypnosis misses. Here comes thunder shock for the win. Alrighty, say goodbye to Ghastly. We got a boosted. Say hello to level 16. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, well, let's see. He wants to come out with a Quilava. I got the person for him. Let's go with Lucky. Because, well, you know, <laughs> our buddy right here cannot get him. So, here's Quilava, level 16. And thankfully, we've been training. So, let's go with the water gun right here. And Ember attack. Yeah, it's not going to be useful right here. So, let's go water gun attack for the win. And, oh, nearly, oh wow, that's not that powerful, holy crap. Okay, so here comes another Ember attack right here. Kulava, I do miss you. I do miss having you on my team. Yeah, okay, so here we go, Water Gun again, and that actually works, so let's go again with another Ember attack on us. Don't worry guys, I have a Fire type in mind. It's just going to have to wait a little longer after quite possibly the third gym battle because, yes, that's just me. Okay, so we do have super potions. This will actually help us just a little bit for uh, Lucky. And, well, here comes an Ember attack yet again. And that right there hits us a little hard. But we're burned. Good gravy. All right. Water gun attack. Yeah, he is like... Brutal with the with the Ember attack right here. Okay, so here we go. Water gun attack for the win. And that does it. Okay, so say goodbye to Quilava right there. And that nearly grows lucky to another level. So let's go. We're going up against a Zubat right here. All right, Flip Vault. Time to uh, flex your muscles just a little bit more right here. All righty, all righty, all righty. Flip Vault, how's it going? And let's go straight for a thunder shock. Yeah, so I'm definitely loving. Oh crap, baskets! Yeah, we flinch. And yes, you gotta love that the the supersonic. Yeah, going straight to Professor Elm. Like the reason why I went, or the reason why this all happened was because I went to Professor Elm's uh, um, lab, and I put Togepi in front just to increase its level of happiness and all that stuff. And well, look at that—we just won. <laughs> okay. And there we go. Silver has been defeated. <laughs> Useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won because my Pokemon were weak. Yeah, and you caught me at a disadvantage. Anywho, I hate the weak. Pokemon. Trainers. It doesn't matter. Who or what? I'm going to be as strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They can act big and tough in a group. 
but get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way, wee weakling. A weakling like you is the only is only a, dis a distraction. Hmm. He's got some issues. He really has some issues. Okay. So, uh, I'll be right back. I gotta heal up my Pokemon. Okay, so we are all healed up and ready to go. Let's get it. So, here we are in the Ilex Forest. Talk to this guy. Ilex Forest is big. Be careful. Don't get lost. And if you talk to this old lady right here, she's like, The forest is being watched by its protector. Stay out of mischief. Of course, that protector happens to be, you know, Celebi. Now, here we are in the Ilex Forest. Okay, so here we are in the Alex Forest. I'm not gonna waste my repels just yet, but if you go in here and talk to this kid, he's like, Oh man, my boss is going to uh, to be steaming. The farfish that cuts trees for charcoal took off without me. I can't go, or I can't go looking for it in, in the Alex Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. Yeah, well, yeah. So we're gonna have to look for a farfish, and this calls for one repel. Because we just bought three repels because we didn't have enough money and all that crud. So, yeah, let's go look for that uh, that, that that Pokemon. And look at this. It's Farfetch. Hey, how's it going? Uh, he's going to be running away right here. And, well, we're going to have to, like, uh, we're going to have to get it to, to oh, yeah, we're going to have to, like, try and get it to the other trainer right here. And uh, go right here. Actually, crop baskets. Okay, so how do we do it again? Ah, we go right here. Qua. And right here. And there we go. It is going away. And bam. It's going to be hitting a, a tree. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves. Well, this guy right here is going to be like, oh, <laughs> thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have any badges. Well, I know the feeling. <laughs> All right. Talk to this guy right here. He's going to be like, ah, my far fetched. You found it for this, for us, kid? Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know, here, take this. We get ourselves the HM01 cut. Alrighty. That's the cut HM. Teach that to a Pokemon uh, to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym uh, from Azalea to use it. Alright, so I'm going to go into the next segment right here because it involves these guys, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in front of the charcoal people's house. Yeah, the charcoal killing. If you go right here after finding the farfetch, you will be able to talk to this guy right here and he's going to be like, you chased, you chased off Team Rocket and went to the Alex Forest alone? That takes guts! I like that! Come train with us! And, uh, well, if you talk to this kid right here, he's going to be like, I'm sorry. I forgot to thank you. This is a charcoal that I made. Fire-type Pokemon would be happy to hold that. And here it is, guys. We got ourselves a charcoal. And like he said, it does boost up the, the attack for fire-type Pokemon. Now, in Azalea Town, you can actually buy as many charcoals as you want for 9,800. But it's not really worth it if you're just going to use it on one fire-type Pokemon. So what was the point on that? Anywho... We're going to go back into the Ilex Forest, and we're going to, you know, take care of situations right here. We just need to grab a, a Pokemon for this whole this whole thing. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so before we go through the whole tree and all that stuff, let's go right here. We're going to grab this item, and we found ourselves our first revive, which is fantastic. Alright, so... Alright, like I was saying, let's get the heck out of here. And you know what? I did buy quite a few more repels. And uh, this is probably the place to use them because we're going to be getting attacked a lot. We're going to get attacked by so many Pokemon. And, uh, well, eventually I'm going to come back here and capture most of them. So, here we go. I caught myself a Paris off-screen. I caught my, uh, a Paris off-screen and taught it cut. So now we're able to actually get through this whole thing right here and bam. Now here is the shrine that the Ilex Forest has, and it's in honor of the forest's protector. Eventually, we're gonna get to that whole situation right there with Celebi. If you guys, if you guys caught my uh, my last Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, you, you guys probably would probably know what it is, what it is all about. We're gonna do that right here again. So let's move on right here, and well, let's see. 
Ilex Forest is overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may be dropped. There are some hidden items around here, and these guys. Here we have an X attack. And that is actually a nice item right there to actually have. But I'm actually pressing the A button while I'm walking around because there might be other hidden items right here. Grab this. Bam. Found ourselves an antidote. Had to use one earlier for Togepi because, yeah, it got, it got, yeah, it got poisoned. And the effect has worn off. So try another one right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on. Still pressing that A button just in case. Da -da -da. Going ahead, and there's nothing going around right here, huh? Okay, so now if you go right here to this green haired person, he's gonna be like, What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try it too. We grabbed ourselves the TMO2, which is headbutt. This move is a dual type attack, or not a dual type attack, but a dual usage attack, where in Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you can actually hit these trees and find some Pokemon within those trees. Not only that, but since you already got the HM or the TMO2, you can actually buy it over at Goldenrod now. So, yeah, this is a move that I'm definitely going to be using. And you know what? Might as well use the other three attacks right here. I'm actually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes. Draven has to be strategic right here, okay? So, Togepi, what you doing? All right, so it's not a pure attacker. This guy is. Eh, he's okay. Oh, look at that. Yes. And, okay, you're okay too. You know what? We're going to give this to Steelix. We're going to give a headbutt to Steelix. We're going to buy some more headbutts for the other Pokemon. And Swift, I'm gonna give that to Togepi just uh, just in case. So here we go, Serpentera, trying to learn Headbutt right here. And let's see, let's go ahead and take away Tackle Attack since it does miss a lot. So there we go, Headbutt has been eliminated. Let's go ahead and go with the Swift Attack, and let's teach that to Togepi. Bam! So finally, a move that it can actually use, and then Fury Cutter. Who can Fury Cutter uh, fit? Chico. Okay, so let's give that to Chico. That way, it can actually have like another move to like you know to actually use it. And uh, tackle attack would be good. So let's go ahead and take away tackle attack, and then bam, we used all three of those moves. Okay, and uh, eventually I'm going to be using Flash or something else. So let's move on right here. That was a good pickup, and, uh, well, if you guys want to see what I'm talking about, let's go right ahead and use the headbutt right here. Now, if you touch a tree, bam, you can hit it, and there is a chance that you can actually find a rare Pokemon. Heracross comes to, uh, to mind, Butterfree, Beedrill. These are certain Pokemon that you can actually train against, and, well, here's a, here's a worm, or, yeah, here's a Weedle, and, uh, it is a level 10 Weedle, so that right there is not going to be... Yeah, we're not gonna we're not trying, we're not gonna do anything with that. So let's just go ahead and move out of the way because yeah, we don't want to get attacked. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves an ether. That is a useful item right there. And well, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Don't sneak up on me like that. You frightened the Pokemon away. Hmm. My bad. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Bugcatcher Wayne, and Wayne is going to be coming out with a ladybug right here. This could be a... Uh, okay, we could use we could use this as a battle against uh, for Togepi, and here's a tackle attack. Two of the weakest Pokemon. Togepi using the swift attack. It will never miss, and that right there hits it pretty good, so let's go ahead and take a chance with Metronome. Went up against a Oddish. Used the Thunderbolt attack on that this Metronome, and here's a Spiderweb. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so tackle attack. Let's go again with one more metronome. And... Oh no! Oh god, okay, so... That right there is messing... That messed up something right there. Oh god, alright, Serpentera, let's go. Luckily, I have a revive, which I'm gonna use. Good gravy, okay. 
Yeah, I, I really didn't want that to happen, but it did. Okay, let's go with the revive. So, because of that, that lowers the happiness towards uh, Togepi. And... <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's go with the mud slap. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, wow. That was not effective. And, oh, my God. Things are falling apart right now. Oh, my God. Look at that, but... Okay, screech attack. I don't know if it needs a screech attack, but, yeah... <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's go with the headbutt. And here comes a scratch attack. Not so effective. Let's go headbutt right here. And that right there. Oh, okay. So that, that was a good pickup right there. And we have defeated Wayne. Oh my god. Seriously? See, that's the risk of taking a... Or using metronome. You... Yeah, you're gonna... <laughs> You could get attacks like that, attacks that you don't need to be, uh, that, that will actually affect you in a, in, a, in a negative way, so let's go ahead and use this. And, well, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, let's go with the uh, repel right here. <laughs> oh, my God, no, no. Okay, so here we are out of the uh, Ilex Forest, and if you talk to this girl right here, she'll actually give you something. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? It must be hard if a Pokemon won't appear. Try using this TM. And we get ourselves the TM12, which is Sweet Scent. And use it wherever Pokemon may appear. Pokemon will be enticed by it, which is good. Okay, so we're going to stop our episode right here, guys. I know, I know. But we're going to be making our way to the Goldenrod City. Kind of want to make it pretty awesome, battling people and all that stuff. We only got, like, one battle right here. But yes, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation here to this channel, click on the heart button right there. If you guys want to join in on this channel right here and watch members only a video like Pokemon Silver Walker, then yeah, click on that button. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys.